should say good afternoon as after dropping the girls at school this morning I have spent literally the last I don't know four hours sorting things out around our house sorting out our Christmas cupboard and all our treats that when I go to the shops I kind of just throw into a cupboard and that cupboard over the last few weeks has become a bit of a mess shall we say so I spent all morning clearing that out and then also getting out all of the girls advent calendar treats for this December and thought while they was all out and like I promised you yesterday I would show you a a Christmas cadvent 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 a Christmas advent calendar haul because this is going to be quite a big one now just before I start I will just let you know that after today all this haul will be shipped off to the elves for them to then bring back on the 1st of December or the evening of the 30th of November because we all know that the elves are the ones that fill up advent calendars or they do so in our house anyway and when they come back little snowbell jingles and snowflake sparkle our little elf on the shelf tradition comes back with them and we are super duper excited to start that tradition again this Christmas so now I have a huge haul here which I'm about to show you just before I start this big haul this will be the girls main Christmas advent calendar please don't all be replying saying won't the girls see this you're going to ruin their Christmas and all that stuff no the girls do not watch our YouTube channel they absolutely they don't watch it they have limited times on their ipads and they spend that time playing their games playing their learning games um and watching videos that they're interested in not watching back our vlogs because obviously they know what happens <laughs> they're in it so they don't watch our vlogs back we do monitor it so please don't be commenting saying that um the girls are going to see they they don't watch it also, just before I start, I will say that the girls have ended up with two advent calendars this year. One is because I bought one back in January because I love Christmas and I like to be all organised. And I got them on a really, really good a price, a really good bargain. And their main advent calendars, which are the haul I'm going to show today. Now, the girls also like to get one of the cheap, are they like 89p chocolate advent calendars in a specific character that they like. So they will also be getting one of those. And obviously that means they will then have three advent calendars. Now we don't have all day to be opening three advent calendars. So I've decided they will have their main one in the run up to Christmas and a cheap character one from the supermarket and then this other one which is quite special I'm going to use as a countdown to Disneyland Paris because we go to Disneyland Paris in around 30 something days and as these two advent calendars have 24 days I thought it would be a good idea to from as of 24 days do a Disney countdown so I'm going to show you them first because they're pretty cool Okay, so here is the first advent calendar that I bought back in January. I did buy three of them. However, Isabel, since January, seems to have grown up immensely. And this is definitely way too young for her now. So I've got one of these spare, which I will be giving away to someone. And then I have another one for Isabel. So this is the one that Esme and Isla will be receiving when we have 24 days to go to Disneyland Paris. it's a frozen so this is a disney frozen advent calendar as you can see it's quite big and then inside each day they will receive a different makeup piece so there's things like nail varnishes lipsticks lip glosses and all sorts of cute things like that which my girls absolutely love so i thought this would be really nice to give them as a disneyland paris countdown each morning they can open one and get excited for a holiday so this is the one that esme and i will receive and then this is the one i got for isabel and i got this for 10 pounds half price from Superdrug and they had it on sale for half price and they did free delivery so it cost 10 pounds in total and it's basically just a Christmas cube the same thing 
Each side has different days on it. I don't know if you can see very clearly. Um, and then in each window there is a cosmetic item. Oh, there is actually a picture here showing what's in it. So, so each day she will also receive some sort of makeup, lip gloss, nail file, something like that. And I think there's also 24 days on this. So this is what the girls will be receiving Ooh, for their Disney countdown. Okay, moving on to the main event. This advent calendar literally made me super duper excited back in, I think it was around August when I found it. And it's basically a string advent calendar. And you have little paper gift bags that you can decorate with snowmen, reindeer, Santa Claus and hang it up on your wall. Now, I liked this for a number of reasons. Number one was the price. It was £5, which I think is a really, really good price for a decent advent calendar. Obviously, it's not reusable because I'm guessing the bags and things will get ruined and ripped. But even for one year, for £5, I think it's a great price. I also like it because you get bags rather than... We did advent calendar wooden ones one year. So little wooden advent calendars with the little doors. And I absolutely loved them, but hated the fact that you couldn't even fit like a large quality street or something like that. And you literally had to put Smarties in them and really tiny chocolates. And I don't know, I just like bigger ones where you can put a decent present inside. Like I say, I know it's slightly extravagant, but I like Christmas time. I like spoiling my girls and I just love doing it. And another reason why I like these is that you get to decorate them yourself, which I just think is so, so cool. But I am in two minds as to how to do this because I can't decide if to decorate them myself one evening and just do all three and then hang them on the wall for the elves to bring their goodies and fill on the 30th of November or if to let the girls decorate them themselves and let them hang them on the wall on the 30th of November hoping that the elves come through the night and fill them up. I can't decide what to do. I can't decide if it should be a complete surprise and then the girls wake up on the first and it be on the wall or if they should decorate them and hang them on the wall and then have a surprise from the elves filling them. What do you think I should do? Should I do it or should I let the girls? I can't decide. I think there's pros and cons to each. Drop me a comment below and let me know which you think would be a better idea. So, there we go. That's the girls' main advent calendar this year. These were from Hobbycraft and they were five pounds each and it's an advent calendar paper bag bunting each bag is a pretty decent size you can get like pretty much anything in these so as you can see great size so i have been collecting things for these advent calendars for i'd say two or three months since I bought them. Every time I went and did my weekly shopping or when I was just at the shops, I'd pick things up that, I, that looked like they'd fit into the bags and things that I know the girls like and just bought them week by week. So I wasn't keeping track of exactly how many things I'd bought. I was just putting them into my wardrobe. We have a middle bit where I put all my little treasures. So I've been filling that up over the last few weeks and today I got it all out, counted them just to make sure I had enough. Obviously I need 24 and I have 31. I have 31 little treats to put into 24 bags. So I've got more than I need, but obviously these are things that if I don't use them in their advent calendars, they will quite easily go in their Christmas stockings. And if not, then there's three of each thing. The girls are all doing the shoebox appeal this year where they fill up a shoebox of toys for children less fortunate than themselves. And so the spares could also go in the shoebox. So not to worry, it doesn't matter that we have spares. I better to get on with showing you what's going in the bags because I actually have a huge amount of things to go through. So my girls absolutely love blind bags, blind baskets, blind boxes, anything that you can get in the supermarket or toy shops that are blind so you can't see what's inside so I made the most of that this year by buying pretty much not everything but a lot of things blind so here's the first one 
These are in no order, I don't know which day they will go in, but they will go in randomly. But each girl will receive the same gift on the same day. So the first thing are these Shopkins blind eggs. Now I'm not actually sure what comes inside these. It says surprise egg. It just says surprise egg. As you can see, they're a nice size, really bright and colourful. And yeah, I think the girls will be really excited to see which they get in their egg. Next up are these Monster High blind bags. Now, I'm not actually sure what comes inside these, but I think it's mini Monster High dolls. On the front, it just says Monster High minis. And by the feel of it, that doesn't feel like a mini Monster High doll. One surprise figure and one collector's guide. So, not actually sure what the surprise figure is, but I'm guessing kind of a surprise mini Monster High doll. The girls have never had these before, so I think they'll really enjoy opening those. Trolls, trolls, trolls. We went and watched the Trolls movie the, over the, last weekend and we enjoyed it so, so much. So I just could not resist when I saw these troll eggs. And inside there is a keychain. So there's six to collect, all of the main characters, which the girls will really enjoy. So that's the keychain and you get one in each egg. And I know the girls will like this because they loved the Trolls movie the other day. So I'm sure they will go down well. Littlest Pet Shop Blind Bags. My girls used to collect Littlest Pet Shops and actually I think we must still have them somewhere in the garage maybe. We had a huge amount of sets and animals and figures and I think they must be in the garage and need to dig those out and like give them to charity or something. But yeah, I think the girls will still really like these blind bags. There's lots of different characters to collect and I think the girls will really like these. Animal Jam. I don't actually know what these are. Animal Jam Adopted Pet Series 1. That does actually say 5 years plus and Isla's only 4. Naughty mummy. So yeah, inside of these you get one pet, two accessories and one checklist. And one exclusive online game code. So yeah, the girls have not had these before but I thought they looked quite cool. They come in a cute little plastic home with a little door on the back and I don't actually know what they are but I think it's just an animal. So I think the girls will really like these. I also picked up three of these cute little hospital... Animagic Rescue Hospital packs. There's 26 of these to collect. There is a picture of all the collectible ones on the back and actually the front says colour magic change which is quite cool. So each pack comes with two babies and one collector's card. My girls love animals and pets and all things like that so they'll be really excited to open these. Next up are these cute little My Little Pony squishy pops. These will go down so well I know for sure because all of my girls absolutely love squishies I actually don't I don't know if that's the right word but Esme calls them squishies and Isla calls them squishies and it's basically anything that's squishy and these are My Little Pony squishy pops so I'm guessing they'll be squishy I best not say the word squishy again that's really annoying but yeah series three and there are it doesn't say how many to collect but I'm guessing you get a different My Little Pony in each one and they're all that word that I'm not saying again. So sure they'll go down great. I also picked up three of these little mushroom shaped zelfs. Love your zelf. I'm sure these are like trolls which excites me a little bit. I'm not actually positive but I do think they're like trolls. It says there is one zelf and one collector's leaflet in each little mushroom pod. I don't know if the girls have had these before. I seem to think they haven't. Maybe they have, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think the girls will really like those. I also picked up three of these giftums. I like these so much. I absolutely love the little plastic boxes they come in. I love how bright and colourful they are. And I just love the whole idea of collecting little dolls from all around the world. I think it's such a great idea. And also, it's quite educational because... 
on each box it opens out and on each side it has landmarks from the relevant country for example you, the united states new york has a picture of the statue of liberty and then that's the only example I can give but you know what I mean each country has an icon or something relevant to that country on the inside of the box and I just think it's a great idea there's 84 of these to collect 84 and this is series one oh my gosh they're gonna make lots of money on these if they bring out loads of different series Esme's had a few of these when we've been in supermarkets before and I've told the girls they can pick one small treat um, I usually go for something shopkin wise but yeah Esme really likes these so I'm sure she will be so excited when she sees them on one of the dates in December in her advent calendar and I'm quite excited too because I don't know I quite like these blind bags and sitting and finding out who's got what and all things like that so these will go down great next up are these little twosies so two surprise twosies inside I have no idea what a twosie is and actually these are quite big I hope they fit in the... I'm going to try it now ah. perfect so these are twosies and I'm actually not sure what they are but by the looks of it you get a baby and also a pet maybe oh yeah baby and a pet friend season one doesn't say how many are to collect but they look quite good and ah I like that saying everything's better together okay there's just a few more blind bag type things before we move on to unblind bag blind bag things this is the my little pony my little pony friendship and magic collection so in these there's 12 to collect and you get a pony and I think that's it here are all the different ponies that you can collect and then similar to that I found these trolls blind bags now this actually really confuses me because this says this is series 2 how is it series 2 when the movies only just come out or has the movie not only just come out can't already be series 2 already surely there are, doesn't say how many to collect, I don't actually know what it is inside, it feels like a troll, a troll and a collector's card. So I picked the girls one of those up each. And then finally for what we call blind bag egg type things, I have these frozen surprise eggs and inside each one it says a super surprise and candy. So. I remember picking these up because they were super duper cheap so sorry that wasn't the last one this is the last one this is a Barbie surprise cube and it says that inside there are fruitylicious candies I'm not sure if you get a toy in these I don't think you do these were like 29p they were super duper excited excited they were super I'm excited <laughs> they were super duper cheap from home bargains they were just at the tills and I remember seeing them and thinking 29p that's a great price so I picked up three of those but I do think you only get sweets inside not 100% sure but I'm I think you do just when I think I'm done with blind bags, something else pops into my view. Sorry, this really is the last surprise blind bag. Just double checking. So this is Zelf's. I'm not actually sure what differs these from the other ones that I already showed you. Other than... Well, other than nothing. I don't know what's different about these to the other ones. But they're a different colour, so I'm guessing maybe they're a different series. But these are Zelfs again, which I think are very similar to Trolls, which means that the girls will love them. So I also picked up these three little keychains. It's My Little Pony. We have, let's see if I can remember the names. Not doing good because I don't. Twilight Sparkle, I think. I think that's Twilight Sparkle. We have Rainbow Dash and Sweetie Pie is it? Pinkie Pie? Pinkie Pie! Pinkie Pie! 
So we have these three little keychains, which I think are super cute. Then I picked up these three super duper random squishy bears. And the reason I bought these were because, as I mentioned before, my girls love squishy things. And these are super duper... They also, if you smack the head... Can't see that really well, but they do light up. So I think the girls will really like these and really enjoy squishing and playing with them. I also picked up these really cute little suitcase stamp sets. I just think these are absolutely adorable. And when I was younger, I remember I used to love, love, love getting things like this. So it's just little, I think you get eight stamps and then a stamping ink pad, which I'm sure the girls will all just love playing with. I think they're all animals. One set has like butterflies and flowers and then the other set has animals and we have two that are the same. So yeah, I think the girls will really enjoy playing with these. Next up are these super awesome rubbers. Now these look like they're from China and I bought these because I remember seeing the £6.99 sign there but they were actually listed at like £2 each so obviously that must mean it's a bargain. If it was £7 and it was listed at £2, that must be a bargain. And also, my girls absolutely love funky rubbers and things like that. Like the shop Squiggle or Smiggle, whatever it's called. Smiggle. They love it in there. They love all the different kinds of rubbers and things. So I think these fast food rubbers will go down great. These are quite big. Like, a lot bigger than some of the others. So I think maybe these will be saved to go in their Christmas stockings instead. As like I said, I do have more things than I need for their advent calendars. Next up are these. I don't even know what to call them because they're just the most random things ever. We have a pig, a dark pink pig, a light pink pig, and then a blue fish. Now these are just hilarious. I don't know what they are. They're squishy. And if you squeeze them really hard... that fly out of their mouths which I just think my girls will absolutely love they are quite hard to do though so I don't think Isla will be able to do it herself but Isabel definitely will just think that's the most hilarious thing ever so I'll probably give Isabel the blue fish and then Esme and Isla a pig similar to those and from the same shop I also picked up these little vibrating animals which I bought because I used to get these when I was a child I think they kind of I can't remember what they were, but there was like dog fluffy versions that was came out when I was around 13 or something like that. And you pulled the back, let go, and they and ran all over the table. And it brought me back to my childhood memories of having one, which just made me smile. So I got one pink pig. That's not the most prettiest of pigs. And then I got a cute little puppy sticking his tongue out and then I got a very cool looking cow and all the same thing you just pull the string on the back my girls love things like this so I'm sure they'll go down great Next up are these sweet little sparkle, fun girl sparkle girls. Now, Isabel is probably a little bit too old, maybe, for one of these dolls. However, I do like to keep advent calendars all the same. So all the price is exactly the same for each child. There's no arguments. There's no, what did you get? What did I get? Anything like that. I like to keep them all the same. And obviously, as I have Isabel, who's slightly older, and Isla, who's a lot younger, some days Isla might get things that maybe not quite as appropriate for her. For example, those squishy things that I just showed you because she won't really be able to squish it. And some days Isabel will get things that are maybe a little bit young for her, but she'll still like them. Calendar
calendars are, advent calendars are all about the excitement of finding a new gift each day, not about what it actually is. And I know that Isabel will really appreciate these little dolls just as much as she will appreciate everything else. So I got these because I thought it was so cool how I have an Isabel, an Isla, and an Esme. I thought it was really cool how, how all three dolls had the same colour hair as my three girls. So I picked those up. I also picked up three of these really cute teeny ties, which are kind of Christmassy. I mean, they're not Christmas, Christmas bears, but they are kind of wintery Christmassy. And the girls love squishy little teddy bears and things like this. So I think they will go down great. Now these ones, are Christmassy and I think these are just so so cute. So we have a penguin, a gingerbread man and a snowman and as you can see all their bodies are Christmas presents. I think these are just adorable. I picked these up from Home Bargains and I'm sure they was like less than two pounds each maybe £1.49 or something like that and I just think they are absolutely adorable. <laughs> The girls will love these so much. Okay, these are slightly random. Maybe maybe a little, maybe a bit of tatty. But I just thought they were really sweet. And the girls will be able to put these at the side of their bed or on their dressing table. Basically a Santa, a snowman and a penguin. And these light up like so. You can't see that try my, my normal trick <laughs> okay let's see if I can so I'm facing my bedroom window and it's way too light for you to be able to see it but you have to take my word for it these light up and flash all different colors and although they're slightly random they are plastic and probably won't last very long they were like 99p each from home bargains and I just think they'd be super cute to fill up their advent calendars and another reason why I liked them is they're Christmas themed. So as you've probably just seen, although some of these things that will be in their advent calendars are awesome, they're not really Christmas themed. So I was looking for more Christmas type items. Which leads me on to these Christmas tin themed mints. I love these so much. I bought them from the range. They were around two pounds each. And I just think they are really, really Christmassy. And just they make me feel warm I love the pictures on the front so we have this Christmas fireplace beautiful Christmas tree and then Santa on his sleigh delivering presents I don't know what it was that drew me to these but I was really drawn to them I think it's the nostalgia nostalgic what is wrong with me in words literally <laughs> the nostalgia of the pictures i just think they just brought back so many memories and they're full of mints they were cheap and i think the girls will really like them okay we're getting to the final few items now the, the, the next one is these sum sums i got a stitch anna and daisy these are on wheels and they work on a mechanism where you pull it back let go and they zoom off so probably stitch for Isabel as she loves stitch Anna for Esme and then cute little Daisy for Isla I picked up these really cute I, I don't know if they're rubbers yeah rubbers so rubbers for anyone in the UK erasers for anybody that's not in the UK and pronounces them as erasers um, they're beanie puzzle ones so you can mix and change them and you basically get lots of different animals so I will take out one each I got all four for one pound so they was like 25p each and they do come in separate boxes as you can see so the girls will get one of those each on one of their Christmas Day advent calendar bags I also got these sweet little wind up toys, Little Miss Princess, Little Miss Giggles and Little Miss Chatterbox. I'll let you guys decide who you think will get each one. Who do you think will get Little Miss Princess? Who do you think will get Little Miss Giggles? And who do you think will get Little Miss Chatterbox? Comment down below and let me know. Another little stamp set. So we have three different designs, one with love hearts, 
one with princesses and then one with insects and like I said before my girls really enjoy playing with stamp type things and all sorts of things that are crafty and I thought these sets were really really cute and I like how they're all the same but different designs. I love things where you can get three of the same but different designs. So I picked up those, I think they were around a pound each but I can't quite remember. These were one of the first things I bought back in the summer but yeah thought they was cute. I picked up these light up bauble musical, are they musical? No I don't think they are. Light up bracelets from Home Bargains for like one pound and I thought the girls would really like them. I did actually buy them I bought the necklaces too and I did actually buy these for the girls Christmas stockings however they won't get the stockings until Christmas day and obviously after Christmas they're not going to last very long after Christmas basically so I think I will actually put these in their advent calendars towards the start of December so that they can wear them over the Christmas season and get the wear out of them as you can see for the necklaces I actually bought four because I thought they were cool and I'm a cool mum and I wanted one. And finally, I also picked up three of these little cute two-pack lollipops from Home Bargains for around 59p. You get two little lollies and again, I like that they're all the same but a different design. So they will go in the girls' advent calendar one of the days. Finally, just before I finish, I also have lots and lots of goodies that I will put in the girls' bags on the days they get a toy. So probably not on the day when they get like the mints or those chocolate lollies I just showed you, but on the days where they get a gift, I will also include a either a reindeer chocolate with a little red Rudolph nose or one of these super cool emoji chocolate coins. I think these are awesome. The girls will absolutely find these hilarious. I can't remember where I bought these now, but I kind of want to remember because I want to go back and get some more. Everyone loves emojis. The world seems to have gone emoji crazy. And I know my girls have. Isabel just loves emojis so much. So I think it will be pretty cool to have one of those in their little bags each day. So not only is it a surprise finding out what present they got, but it's also a surprise finding out which emoji they got on their chocolate coin. And that's absolutely everything. I hope you enjoyed watching this advent calendar haul. And maybe it will give you some ideas if you want to do an advent calendar that's a little bit different for your child. Over the next few weeks, I will be doing more Christmas type hauls. I'm going to do top 10 gifts for girls, Isla, Isla's age, top 10 gifts for Isabel's age and top 10 gifts for Esme's age. Those top 10 gifts will be gifts that I've bought for my girls, so my opinion. But yeah, I do have girls, I do do a lot of research on gifts, so hopefully you will agree that they are great gifts too. So I hope you enjoyed watching this haul, don't forget to comment down below which little miss you think would be for Isabel and Esme and also let me know what you think I should do with regards to the advent calendars, should I make them myself or do you think it would be better to let the girls make their own and stick them up themselves? I can't decide, so let me know. It's around half past two now, so I've got half an hour before Chris and the girls get home from school and work. Chris will be finishing work around about now and he's going to go straight to school to pick up the girls and come home. So I've got half an hour left of peace and quiet and I'm going to make the most of that by putting my feet up with a hot cup of tea and watching a Christmas movie because I'm now feeling in the Christmas spirit. Good evening guys. Flash forward from Sarah today to now it is dark. And we are currently sat in Sainsbury's car park. Sarah's just gone inside Sainsbury's to go and get some groceries that we need. Cause we are on our way to my mum and dad's for dinner tonight. So Granny and Grandpa's house for dinner. I finished work at about three o'clock. I came down and picked the girls up from school and I met Sarah we had to really quickly sort some stuff out with the old car because it is going in a couple of days and we needed to quickly sort that out so that's what we did and then we jumped in the car and now we're on our way to my mum's so um that is why we flash forwarded from the middle of the day with sarah to now it got dark quick guys now apparently tonight we are forecast snow and a lot of snow in yorkshire so very very glad i've got my trusty 4x4 now to help me out tomorrow because I am back on the early shift tomorrow at work and I start at five o'clock in the morning. It is forecast for the airport to be so snowy that we will be snow closed. So I'm really not looking forward to the morning if that's the case because snow closed airports means a nightmare for me in my job, an absolute nightmare. 
So fingers crossed for no snow. So we just got to my mum and dad's. We're just unloading the shopping before we go in. My mum's not had a chance to see the new car yet. She's coming out in a minute to have a look. I'm quite excited about what she's going to say actually. I think she's going to absolutely love it. I think we're going to get some good first reactions. Good feedback all around. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that I actually have this car. It's so awesome. So we just spent a lovely couple of hours at my parents having some lovely dinner and catching up with them and letting the dogs go absolutely crazy, which they did. They were wild dogs. We just left my parents and we are just currently at the shop. Sarah's just running to grab a couple of groceries that we might need for tomorrow. And it has started to snow. It's packing time. Right, those two are your mud shoes. So when you're going out muddy, boggy, yeah, yeah. mucky stuff, they're both there for to wear. Okay, pass me those ones. Those then put them back into the bag as well afterwards. Yeah, I will, because yeah. they'll be dirty. These trainers are for indoor, so yeah, indoor like trainers. Seriously, how adorable are these pyjamas? Oh, they're super cute. What are they so I love unicorns. Oh, love. that's really nice. I just thought they were so sweet. They are sweet. These are from Matalan, guys, if anyone was wondering. Nice, cute pyjamas. Right. Nick Nicks, don't need to be showing you guys those. <laughs> socks. Lots of socks. Actually, yeah, I'll put those in. But she's also got these, which are skiing thermal socks. Ooh. She's got one, two, five, six. She's got eight pairs of socks for two days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those parents that pack literally way too much and their child, everyone else has got a backpack and my child's got a big suitcase. <laughs> At least she's prepared. Uh, yeah guys, as you can tell from my soaking wet head, it is raining outside slash snowing so the snow has begun. The forecast for it to be super bad overnight has started. But we don't care about that tonight because yeah. tonight... We're sassy. We are saying goodbye to my whistle for one, two, for five, five days. days. I am not going to see her pretty little face until Sunday night when she is home from her residential. We're going to really miss you, baby. We're going to miss you so much. I know. So much. And Prinny's going to sleep in your bed the whole time you're away. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's my bed. She can keep scruffy company. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, so... We are anticipating a rough morning tomorrow. I am up at 4.30 for work and whether I'll get there or not is another story. These guys have got to cut a pink suitcase it's thing massive. all the way to school. And they've got a backpack. So in the, in the snow. And, yeah. If it snowed. I don't. I hope it doesn't snow because I don't want my residential to be like cancelled. Oh, I definitely won't. They'll definitely go out of it still. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah guys. Yeah, so... It's been a bit of a chilled vlog tonight. We've not really done a lot. We went to Granny and Grandpa's for dinner and we had a chat catch up. But really, we've not really done a lot else tonight. So guys, we hope that you enjoyed tonight's video. If you did, make sure you drop by and smash that thumbs up like this. Smash, 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 smash. For all your new subscribers that have just joined our channel. Hi guys, welcome to the iFam. And yeah guys, we hope you've had a wonderful day. Whatever you've and been up to. if you're part of the iFam, you're all sassy. Ooh. Yeah guys, so come by and drop us a comment and let us know what you've been up to with your night tonight and come say hi if you're a new subscriber because we love to say hi. Hello. And we will be back tomorrow. Have a lovely morning tomorrow, y'all, in the snow for all you guys that live in Yorkshire near us and we will see you guys tomorrow night at 6pm. Make sure y'all get home out of the snow ready for 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Bye! Bye. Mm.